No, I won't die a mother! Or will I? Go ahead, you English dogs! Mad monsters! Wait till you see the helicopter. I asked for a fact-based speech, Miss Morton. Not a ridiculous flight of fancy. But I... I don't want to hear it. I'll give you three more days to do the assignment properly. She always wants us to do things the obvious, boring way. She doesn't appreciate creativity. But Mimi, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. And they did not have tanks in the 15th century. So, can I help it if I'm a naturally expressive person? It's a gift. Not that she would understand. Ah, uh, Mimi. Grindstone is so out of touch. She should be arrested for boring kids to death. Mimi, I really... I bet she has no life outside these walls. She probably sleeps in a cot at the back of her room. A dull, bland, old... <laughs> <laughs> Principal Earl... <laughs> Good morning. Oh, good morning, uh, uh, Minnie, Evelyn. <laughs> yo, yo to you, Roger. <laughs> Do you think he hurt me? Standing a foot away while you yelled at the top of your lungs? Nah. <laughs> so you can see how you have to convert the fractions so they have the same denominator before you can proceed. Uh, uh, Miss Grindstone, a word with you, please. Sincerity, dear. You're in charge till I get back. Yes, Miss Grindstone. Any grief and I'll bust ya. Eudora, I need to talk to you about some very disturbing rumors. Now, it seems to me that things have been going around about other things. Uh, sincerity, I have to go to the washroom. Forget it, Morton. I invented that excuse. <gasps> Someone's wearing brown with pink! What? I'll be, uh, getting back to class now. Miss Eudora Grindstone, you have been found guilty of boring young minds to death. B but Principal Earl! I don't want to hear it! I order you to be burned at the stake! Guilty! 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 Eudora, I've been hearing rumors that uh, some of the children seem to think that <laughs> I wear a toupee. <laughs> now, isn't that the nuttiest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> the nuttiest, sir. She's not my favorite teacher, but what if she gets fired? I have to nip this in the bud before it's too late. Uh-oh, she's got that look again. Here it comes. Mimi's got a plan. Dear Principal Earl, I am writing today to praise the... Mm -hmm. Uniquely individual teaching skills and dedication of one of today's finest educators, Miss Eudora Grindstone. Uh, in closing, I must say again how truly unequal she is. A truly inspirational tale. So, what was your big plan? Simplicity itself. I wrote a letter. What did it say? 
No, this and that. Mimi. All right. I may have embellished a tiny bit. What does it matter? Principal Earl has no idea what goes on in the school, and it's only going to him. Fax us over to the school board, will you? Oh, and while you're at it, fax it to the Starfish Bay TV station, too. <laughs> uh, testing? Hello? <laughs> Everyone? Hello? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Uh, good morning, scholars. <clears throat> I've gathered us here today for a special reason. Uh, Miss Grindstone, come up here, please. It is with great pride that I announce that your teacher, Ms. Grindstone, has been nominated for Starfish Bay's Teacher of the Year Award. Huh? <gasps> oh, <laughs> this... Is so I I never it's just wonderful. Huh? And to document all the things your teacher has done with her uh, <laughs> uniquely individual teaching skills, the Starfish Bay newsroom is sending out a camera crew in two days' time to get it all on tape. <sighs> Grindstone took poor backward Brock Wickersham and turned him into a straight A student. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't every child have the potential for greatness? Every child but Brock. Grindstone also <laughs> inspired Loadman, a boy with no future to speak of, to follow his dream of becoming a mime artist. <laughs> <laughs> Loadman has elegant arms that are just perfect for mime. <laughs> hey, I wasn't finished yet. Okay, so I went over the top. Understatement of the year. But if I can't pull this off for the news crew, Mrs. Grindstone really will be fired. <laughs> <laughs> On the bright side, I do have 48 whole hours, and I'm sure if I appeal to my classmates' finer qualities, they'll be dying to help. No. 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 Yet. That's Russian for no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if finer qualities won't work, I'll go for yucky ones. But, Brock, think of the repercussions. The reaper what? If Grindstone goes, we could wind up with someone even worse. True. Or we could wind up with an endless parade of subs. <laughs> I love making them cry. I'll do your homework for a week. Make it a month and you got a deal. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want me to help Brock? Correct. The same Brock who steals my lunch money and gives me power wedgies? Gee, let me think. No! I'll teach you to throw overhand. Really? Really. Deal! Sorry, Mimi, I'm too busy with soccer. I'll wash your soccer uniform for the rest of the season. Wow, my own mother won't do that. Excellent. At least everything's taken care of. Well, almost everything. Hey! Now, Elaine, it might sound better coming from me. Miss Grindstone has even helped the athletically challenged. Russell, two left feet Van Eden, is now a skilled rollerblader. Two left feet? Just think, a chance to show off your skills on TV. And last but not least, little Elaine Petuskin, a poor nearsighted girl who with Grindstone's help is now a... Uh-huh! <laughs> Champion baton twirler? <laughs> Mimi, you can't fake baton twirling. It's this line... I prefer to call it an overactive imagination. This lying that got you into trouble in the first place. Great. Now where am I going to find a baton twirler on such short notice? Fabulous. And yet... Such a shame your baton brilliance can't reach a wider viewing audience. 
three close-ups and at least two minutes of airtime. Deal. And I'll need a personal assistant available 24-7. No, no way, absolutely not. Watch the cuticles. <laughs> Excuse me just one moment. Lodeman, what shape is a box? Is this like a riddle? Square. Think sides, think lid. Uh, <coughs> ow. Uh. O N O T. No, Brock. On a monopia. M is next. You saying I'm wrong? Maybe. Why not try something simpler to start with? Say, <laughs> dog? Can I just break something with my head? It's a crowd pleaser. You're supposed to be smart. Exactly. I'm using my head. <sighs> hey, Mimi, watch this. <laughs> oh! Personal assistant, get over here. Guys, we've got to get this together from his grindstone. The news crew will be here any minute. Ah, we're here already. And I think we've got everything we need. A blatant case of fraud. Teacher of the Year nominee Miss Eudora Grindstone has tried to manipulate our poor innocent students to cheat her way to an award. It's also likely that she wrote this. Anonymous letter, ha <laughs> ha, herself. W what letter? Miss Grindstone, you've made a mockery of this school and fools of us all. But I... I don't want to hear it. You are suspended immediately, without pay. Oh. What a surprise. Well, come on in. Wow, what neat pictures. Thanks, I painted them myself. You did? I studied fine arts at the Sorbonne in Paris before I realized my true calling was teaching. And I still take life classes at the community center every Wednesday night. Plus, kickboxing on Mondays and Thai cooking on Thursdays. You're kidding! Oh, I have a life outside school. Or did you think I slept in a cot at the back of the classroom? This is the Winers! Yeah? But they're the coolest band ever! Oh, it was a gift. Oh. From the lead singer, Brian. One of my former students. I think he calls himself Wastoid now. You taught Wastoid? <laughs> you know, I might have something else you'd be interested in. A copy of their new CD, Bark Bag? <laughs> A wonderful book about Joan of Arc. Huh. Oh. This book was one of my favorites as a child. It should be a real help to you with your assignment. For <laughs> whatever teacher reads it. Miss Grindstone, I have a confession to make. I'm going to tell Principal Earl everything in the morning. Well, that would be a start, although it won't erase my public humiliation. Mimi, you're a bright girl, blessed with a wonderful imagination. But you've got to learn to rely on the truth. I try, but my imagination always gets in the way. Then combine your imagination with the truth, and you'll have a surefire recipe for success. I'm sure she didn't mean to be taken literally. Ah, uh, Mimi, these tights are awfully tight. Uh. <gasps> 
too late, Herbert. It's showtime. Hmm. Now, who told Miss Belliger to send me down here? Principal Earl, if that is indeed your name, can you tell me why you called us back here again today? What? What are you talking about? I didn't call you. Yes, you did. You, Dora, is this another one of your tricks? Excuse me? I had a message from you to get down here. I didn't call anyone. Uh, did I? We are the Graces class, and we're going to show you Grindstone shouldn't go, oh, 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 so stick around, watch our song and dance, and enjoy the show, oh, 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 oh. I used to get just F, a dunce they'd said I'd be, but thanks to Miss Grindstone, I'm finally getting D's. Now I'll never be real smart, never make pre-med, but that's cause when I was small, my mom dropped me on my head. <laughs> of her deal. I had to let her arrange her own number. I'm the best in the school, Ms. Grindstone knows it's true. I'm the best in school. It makes all my classmates start to drool. Oh yeah, yeah. Suspend this woman. Uh, uh, well, I, I, uh, I, uh. She's taken these pathetic children, and boy, are they pathetic, and tried to make something of them. Admittedly, it's not much, but she did the best she could. Tell it like it is, Chip. I didn't mean suspend, suspend. Uh, I uh, meant a uh, couple of days' vacation. Uh, paid? Uh, of course she has to stay. It worked! You're back! <laughs> Please, no thank you, Czar. Miss Morton, by my calculations, your Joan of Arc assignment is due tomorrow. You'd better get to work. By the way, that whole routine... <laughs> Wastoid would have been impressed. Good to have you back, Miss Grindstone. My homework? To whom it may concern, re my allowance. Ugh. Oh, ew! Gross! You know, Miss Grindstone was right. It is better when I combine my imagination with the truth. I'm glad you think so. Me too. Because I've got a great plan for a series of historical musicals. And I'm going to start with Joan of Arc. <laughs> 